23 minutes after the hour of 2 o'clock and a beauty, uh, beautiful Tuesday here in Terre Haute, Indiana. This is Bob Marks talking to you over your electric radio machine. Got some very special guests here. John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr, better known as the Beatles. They're uh, just starting their tour here in the United States, and we'd like to welcome you to the show, fellas. Thank you. Thank you very much. Pleasure say, to be here. Say, John, how did you ever decide on a name like the Beatles for your group? Well, I had a vision when I was 12, and I saw a man on a flaming pie, and he said, you are Beatles with an A, and we are. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I, I asked for it, I guess. Well, that's how it started, anyway. Uh -huh. And uh, how about your first recording date? We made our first record at the beginning of 1963, and we had a hit with that. But I think... Uh, the whole bit really started when we did a Palladium show, mm -hmm. and then later we were asked to do the Royal Variety Command performance, you know. Uh -huh. And we met the Queen Mother, and she started clapping. And Princess <laughs> Margaret, too. Yeah, and Princess Margaret. And how many records did you sell last year? Do you have any idea? Uh, well, the last count was um, six million, I think. That's just Ringo's record. <laughs> you know, the, the others don't sell. Well, well, as a matter of fact, I understand this record of yours is not only a hit here in England, as I mean, as well as England, but in other yes, countries well, as well. Yes, well, we've heard that our latest record, I'm an older hand, came into the Australian top 20, mm -hmm. right in a number one, which is very nice. And I think it's selling in Finland and Sweden and other places like that, too. Well, I really believe that the Beatles have now taken over the well, world. That's a nice thing to say, isn't it? <laughs> We're very lucky. Uh, by the way, who's your barber? <laughs> you have one, don't you? No, it's a dirty rumor. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we cut it ourselves. <laughs> well, w w which one of you guys <laughs> dreamed up this this haircut idea, anyway? I think it was my dad, really. He said, "You know, Paul, this it's a bit square. This uh, the haircut I had, you know, short back and side." He said, "Why don't you get a beetle cut, son?" <laughs> Say, I understand things get pretty violent sometimes because your fans are quite exuberant. Is that well, true? Well, they get exuberant, you know, but we're, uh, we enjoy it. We don't come to any harm because the policemen are equally as exuberant, you see. <laughs> the police have a great time. <laughs> I'll bet they do. Now, now, what are your plans here for the United States? Well, we're over here to do three Ed Sullivan TV shows and meet the press and a bit of a rest on Miami Beach and I hear pretty soon you're going to be making a movie yeah well when we get back to England from uh, this current visit of America we uh, America. <laughs> to America, to America. <laughs> America. by America yeah. yeah well we you see we were making a film which we don't know uh, the title of but it's going to be a film just about us. Mm -hmm. We don't know the script. <laughs> we don't know what songs it'll are be, going to be uh, in it. It should be released in the States about the end of this year sometime, we mm -hmm. hope. With no title and no song <laughs> <laughs> and no script. <laughs> well, it sounds like a winner already, <laughs> Tom. Okay, I give in. Well, maybe we'd better get to the record right about here, fellas. Uh, thanks very much for being on the Pleasure show. To be here. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you very much. much. Okay, the new release by the Beatles, right before your very ears. This is the Beatles. I wanna hold your hand. Oh yeah. Tell you something. 